Another little uh, tutorial here. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to save some time when you're painting a lot of pieces or if you're just like uh, doing a big kit uh, and you're painting the whole thing the same color or whatever. Uh, I'm going to show you how to mix some paint in a spare jar like this one. And uh, before I used to mix uh, my paint in a paint tray like this and drop it in the in the uh, my hairbrush every time but I had to mix uh, a different batch every single time uh, when my airbrush uh, was empty I had to come back to the paint tray and drop some paint in there uh, mix it with thinner and do the whole thing over and over again it was a real pain in the butt so what I'm doing right now is I use uh, spare bottles and what I do is I just drop some paint in the bottle and uh, it's also much easier to uh, measure you know uh, the uh, paint and thinner ratio and uh, also if you want to drop some uh, Mr. Retarder in there it's a lot easier because you can actually see like all the quantities so I put some paint in the jar uh, I don't need much but uh, there you go that's the first step then I just added uh, some uh, thinner to make it about 50-50. Uh, we can't really see it right now, but uh, usually when you put the thinner, uh, the paint will stay at the bottom and uh, you, you will see how, how much thinner you put in the, in the jar. And uh, that way you'll be able to tell if it's about 50-50 or uh, if you want to put a little bit more. Uh, right now, the black, uh, we can't see it because uh, I think the black uh, does that. But when I was mixing the red, I could I could see clearly the red and the thinner. And that it was really easy to see uh, how, how much thinner I put in there. Then just a few drops of retarder. Just a little bit. Usually you want to put like uh, about 10%. You decide. If you want more, add a little bit more. I recommend that you don't put much, okay? Don't try to thin your paint with uh, the retarder because otherwise your paint will take forever to dry. Now I use a uh, retarder because uh, since I use lacquers, they dry really fast. And sometimes uh, what happens is that all the droplets of paint, when they get on the plastic, they don't have time to uh, get flat on the surface and the retarder uh, helps all of those little droplets that you know that come out of uh, of uh, Mr. Airbrush. Uh, it really helps the paint to get flat on uh, on the on the surface, and that way you get a uh, glossier finish, just a better finish overall. And now what you want to do is just uh, take the, the the bottle, and you know you just shake the devil out of it. And this one is a little too thick. The paint is not going down the jar as fast as it should, so I'm actually gonna add a little more thinner. But uh, basically, that's how uh, that's how it's done. Uh, if you do it that way, it's gonna be much faster, much easier to mix the paint, much more convenient. If you have any questions, again, uh, ask me in the comments. I will answer AS ASAP. So uh, thanks for watching, guys.